Hi, I'm Fax from VRChat's creator support team, and I'll teach you about the VRChat Creator Companion for creating your own worlds and avatars. The Creator Companion is a tool you install on your PC to help you set up everything you need for your VRChat world and avatar projects. It helps you create, open, and manage them. It also helps you import the VRChat SDK into your Unity projects, which is what you'll actually need to build and upload avatars and worlds. Best of all, it helps you update the SDK when there's an update. Before I explain how to use it, let me answer some common questions we get about the Creator Companion. If you've used the VRChat SDK before, you might have noticed that the Creator Companion works a little differently from what you're used to. First off, here's what has not changed. You still use Unity to make your projects, and the VRChat SDK is pretty much the same as before. You can still import or export Unity package files in your projects, just don't use our old SDK files. If you find a cool hat on the internet, you can still use it. So, unless you're creating or updating a project, the Creator Companion sort of fades into the background. Here's what's different from what you might be used to. Instead of going to the VRChat website, downloading the SDK, opening your Unity project, importing the SDK, maybe breaking your project and realizing that you should have deleted the SDK first, re-importing... Anyway, that's all gone now. Instead, just open the Creator Companion and let it install the SDK for you. And when there's an update, it's now much easier to keep your projects up to date. You'll find the SDK in your Packages folder instead of your Assets folder now, by the way. There's one more thing that's different, and it's a big one. You'll need to migrate your old projects with the Creator Companion to make full use of it. More on that later. So, to summarize, the Creator Companion is a cleaner and easier way of creating, managing and updating your projects. But if you've created projects before, you'll need to migrate them first. Alright, are you ready? Because I'm going to show you how to install the Creator Companion. Go to vrchat.com and visit our download page. Download the Creator Companion and run the installer. Choose whether to install it just for yourself or every user of your PC. Read and accept the license agreement. Choose the installation and start menu folders and let it install itself. After that's done, the Creator Companion should open automatically. There's one more installation step though. VRChat is built on the Unity game engine, so when you continue, the Creator Companion will help you set up Unity. If you already have Unity installed, the Creator Companion will detect it automatically, or it might ask you where you've installed it. If you don't have Unity installed, the Creator Companion will show you how. Simply follow the instructions on screen. You'll need to download Unity Hub from Unity's website and create a Unity account, if you haven't already. Then, you can either let the Creator Companion automatically install the best version of Unity for VRChat, or you can try the manual installation steps. After successfully setting up Unity, you're finally ready to start using the Creator Companion. Let me quickly explain what you're looking at. The Projects screen is the heart of the Creator Companion. It allows you to manage all your projects and it's where you'll create new ones. The Learn tab shows you a bunch of useful resources for learning about the VRChat SDK. The Tools tab shows you other tools you might find useful. The Logs tab shows you all events or errors that occurred. And the Settings allow you to customize the Creator Companion. Yes, of course, there's a dark theme. Let me show you how to create your first world or avatar project. It's pretty easy. Go to the Projects tab and click Create New Project. Select a template for your world or avatar. The Creator Companion comes with a few templates, but you can actually make your own. We'll cover that in a different video. Choose a project name, a project location and click Create Project. Done! You'll be taken to the Package Management screen where you'll see what packages are in your project. You'll notice that your project will automatically contain the following. The Package Resolver tool, which lets you update Unity packages from inside Unity without opening the Creator Companion. It'll also contain the VRChat Base SDK and the VRChat Avatars or Worlds SDK, depending on what template you chose. Worlds automatically include ClientSim, a tool for testing your world in Unity without opening VRChat. You should also see a bunch of extra packages which haven't been installed automatically, created by ourselves or the VRChat community. They can be useful if you're looking for extra functionality in your projects. Open your project and wait for Unity to load. 
this will take a while. If everything went well, you'll have successfully created a VRChat project. Open one of our example avatars or example worlds to see if everything works as it should. When you open a project for the first time, Unity might show you scary errors in the console. Usually, that's just Unity being weird. If you can't clear them from the console and the SDK doesn't seem to work right, try restarting your project or re-importing the SDK. It usually works on the second try. If you'd like to learn more about how to create and upload worlds, visit the Learn tab in the Creator Companion. Let's talk about updating your project. When one of your packages receives an update, you'll see it on the Project Management screen. Simply click the button to update to the latest version. Once you go back to Unity, it'll automatically be imported and you'll get access to the latest features. Those are all the basics you need to know if you'd like to make a new project with the Creator Companion. I hope you'll find it easy and straightforward. Before we end the video, let me explain how you can migrate your old Unity projects to the Creator Companion. Before you migrate your projects, here are some things you should be aware of. The VRChat SDK and some community packages, such as AudioLink, are now in different folders. This might cause some issues, so please check our FAQ and migration guide if anything goes wrong. Speaking of which, Udon Sharp has been upgraded to version 1.0. It has lots of new features. If you're a world creator, please make sure to read the migration guide. One more thing, before you migrate, please make sure that your old project still works. If your console shows any weird errors or warnings, you might want to fix those first. Alright, let's migrate a project. In the Projects tab, select Add Existing Project. The Creator Companion will let you know that it's a legacy project and that it needs to be migrated. Click Migrate Project. You'll be asked if you'd like to migrate a copy of your project or if you'd like to migrate in place, which will override your old project. We strongly recommend either migrating a copy or making a backup first, just in case. You'll be shown one last screen reminding you what's about to happen. Once you're ready, start the migration and wait for it to finish. After it's finished, open your project to see if the migration was successful. If anything went wrong during migration, please make sure to check the Logs tab in the Creator Companion and your console in Unity. Woo! You did it! Thank you for using the Creator Companion. We're really looking forward to what you'll create. If you'd like to learn more about the Creator Companion, read our documentation at vcc.docs.vrchat.com. Let us know if you have any questions or feedback. You can reach us on our official Discord or on our forum at ask.vrchat.com. If you have any feedback, bug reports or feature requests, please visit the Creator Companion's GitHub page. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in VR!